A few years ago, I had a chance to uh, visit the Vienna with my family. And guess what's the one thing I said I must do while in Vienna? I visited Sigmund Freud's apartment. Uh, kind of a small apartment, really. But you know, could see where he was doing psychoanalysis, he's doing his work, all of his collections, the books, a very small place, his uh, receiving of the patient, his couches, etc. and the like. And I was reading and reading while there, uh, before in fact visiting, I was reading just to appraise myself in terms of, of Freud's and begin to realize that his disciples like uh, Carl Jung and others were really either improving on Freud's idea or arguing with Freud on the validity of correctness of his ideas. And this conversation went along for many, many years to the point that some of the disciples either parted away from Freud and Freud instead stood pat with his own principles. Upon reflection, I realized that I think that's the way change happens, even with strong ideas. At one point in time, we are so convinced of one point of view. And then it takes a while for us to diverse our point of view to another view for whatever reason, either confidence of conditions in our lives or, or lack of evidence or research or a lot of push. So when Carl Jung started to part ways and other disciples to part ways, I began to realize that Freud, in fact, created some thinking around these people to reflect on things. And that fundamental idea he did created an entire group of people following the same principles. So change happens by being with a guru or being a respective thinker, provocateur. And you challenge a provocateur in order to create your own ideas. We need to have our own ideas strong enough hard enough, very with high conviction enough so that we're able to do something about it. Or you test the idea of the guru or the expert until you own the idea. So I call this the discipleship of being a guru or the discipleship being an idea. In my own humble way, I have people who follow my conversations and the like, but I also have people who teaches me a lot. So I put my ears to what they're saying, and many times I make a mistake, and that's natural. But because of those errors and because of those mistakes and because of listening to the very people that I respect, I begin to improve myself. It's an interesting trip, an interesting journey for me. Of course, Vienna was a great place as well.